Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Capricorn for the love and relationship and career for the month of October 2024. I'm going to read the love first, then at the end of the video, I'm going to read the career situation. You are making plans but you are disappointed about your plans because you find like no, maybe the timing is not really right. You want to isolate yourself into a different home away from the person that you are in a relationship with because you don't trust them. They make you mad and angry and upset and disappointed nowadays. They don't trust you either to be really like you know, on the right track with them. They are silent. They still want you. They still want the relationship. They worry about you, what's going to happen next. You keep telling them that you want to walk away, you want divorce, you don't want to be with them. And I get here, this person is really upset with you, really very much uptight. They are tight on their money situation and they think because they don't have money, you want to walk away. Well, maybe you care about the money, but you cared for this person. You tried really harder with them and it didn't work. So you feel like, no, there is nothing that you can do anymore because this person is not really paying attention to you. And I get here, they find, this person find themselves like, no, to be happy with you when they start the relationship. On balance, like they feel like, no, they did a lot in the relationship and they keep really being worried about what's going to happen next. You feel like you know, that you are working on yourself, your physical body, your beauty at this current time because you want to attract a new love. You might be not in a new love, but you see like you know, all the eyes on you, people are staring at you, looking at you, attracted to you, and you are like, mm -hmm, you know? <laughs> okay. Your person is really hurting right now. Nothing is working very well for them. Seems to be that, you know, it's not their year. They have been facing a lot of obstacles, like you know, financially, materially. And you doubt that this person loves you or cares for you, and you think they might be really fooling around or cheating on you, but I'm not kidding that. It's kind of like you're reading for here. Um, it's like similar to last month, but I see you, what's different here, that you are getting out of this relationship without being in doubt um, you are waiting only on maybe a new job you want to establish a new job you want something like no really better um, a new income something like that for you to be really going because financially you cannot rely only on this person to support you financially you are working, you have your own money, but not really where you want to establish yourself yet. Okay, I get also here that this person really care for you. You doubt them really very much. And I get here they care for your siblings, brothers, sisters. It could be really also kids, your kids, if you have kids from another person, not their own kids. You have so much jealousy that really make you lose faith with that person. You feel maybe they've done really like, you know, really a lot of bad stuff. Even if it's not really about jealousy, you felt like you know, no matter what you do, they are not coming around. I tell you what, this person like, you know, really um, didn't come around for too many reasons. They didn't want you to be really having the higher voice. Um, to yell at them, snap at them, tell them like you know what to do and what not to do. They felt like you know they are being disrespected by you, and you thought that they are really dealing with another person, but they are not. It's, they start to be really more stubborn and more stubborn and more stubborn with you because you are like you know, mean to them. 
and they start to to start away to step away from you, and you felt like you maybe there is someone else. There is a lot of misunderstanding and hurt feelings between you both. If you just like to go back to the past, where you really start this relationship, and you see and be honest with yourself, you will know that. You are blaming this person for a lot. Oh, well, you can disagree with me, of course, but I tell you what. Every person not gonna think about it differently. At least this person is really still protective over you and your kids, and you are kind of like holding that stick, and you wanna beat them up. Not the kids. I'm talking about the spells. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Fights, arguments. To do with one of their exes also that you don't want them to be talking to them. This person have made a lot of major mistakes with you. They are secretive. They don't talk much. They hide a lot of the truth. They don't speak very much, but they have a good intention for you. But after you are really like, you know, really being so mad and angry, na 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 na, they become so stubborn and that is not really correct from their part. They should have make you calmer, not to blow up like that and work on the relationship for both of you because being stubborn and silent like that is not going to resolve any issues. It's going to make it worse. And they are driving you crazy like no more and more about it by being silent and it's not really a good thing. So this person is not, I'm sorry, smart enough. They can be smart, but with that move, they are not smart. This person, their luck is coming to them, like, you know, really, they're going to solve the issue. There is a good career on them, and they are going to be really making good money. You want to leave this person no matter what. You don't want to go back, and you are trying to be stronger. You are walking away. This is what you tell yourself right now. It's like you are dashing into unknown. That's it. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Of course you can't do it. But analyze your situation first. Are you sure about that? Okay. I'm just saying. They assume that you walk away from them because they don't have money. It's not really that. Mm -mm. Anyway, you are confident, you look good, you look happy that you are walking away, you're seeking a new job, a new area, a new maybe apartment, a new home, a new partner, you want somebody new, and I'm getting here that you not doing anything, but yeah, there is one in mind, but you're not sure, you never came closer, you think maybe, okay. I can attract others. People are really looking at me. Why not? So, many of you is going to go for it. And you have a new relationship. Many of you is going to wait a little bit to see what's going to happen in your current relationship. And you don't want to be really mistaken about anything. All of this is not progressing. You're going to see the light or shed light about it at the end that it's all of it in your head, what they did to you. Just say, you can remember me and say, Aziza said, even if it takes you time. Okay? You might be confused a lot about them. The only fault and mistake that this person kept really liking of being stubborn with you and made it worse, they should not done this to you. That's not fair for you. You should have calmed you down instead of creating more problems into it. That's why they are having more obstacles because you don't wish them good at this current time. And you know, they are getting the karma already. Okay. Let's go into career and see. Career for Capricorn for October. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. What do you see about October? No. Yeah, the month of October for Capricorn, for their career, money situation, anything to do with money. How is it going to be? 
like we said here, like you know, in the beginning, I see you like you know, really trying to make. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, it's like you want to straighten out your finances first. You want extra money. You want extra hours. Like if you are working part time, you're gonna go full time in a company or something or in a job. Like you know, maybe you ask like you know, your boss like you know, to give you part time because. You want to take care of something in the home or take care of your kids or something. Now you want really more money or extra money. That's really very good. I get here emotional problem will interfere with your work and money situation. You need to set this on the side. If you are really willing to work because you want to work out, like you no know, move out or do something or be on your own, you need just to bring that conflict on the side. Don't think about it. Okay. And I get here, you have been really like, you know, strong in the past. Then you stopped, rely on other people. Now you're going to come back like, you know, really strong, you know. And I get here, you are really worried, sick, tired about money, situation, financial, all of that. You're going to have a fresh start, a new beginning. Financial security. You're going to make it on your own. You can do it. If you have been really having anxiety about money is gonna go away you will have a very major supreme success and I get here that you might really try to apply for another job but that other like people might really not you might really not get the job that you want but there is in the same job you might really uh, take um, more hours and if you are applying for a better position and job, wait for better timing. Because I get here, there is a term to the better. You will have increase on your paycheck. Situation is going to be very good. But right now, you have a temporary blockage on your money. The blockage is what you think about and all of these problems with the spells. So, straighten your mind about them. Stop worrying and crying and lower yourself and say, oh, they treat me bad. They did this to me. They call me this. Every time you think about that, your energy fall apart. You need the energy to attract money and business and luck. So don't pay attention to details really very much. They did this to me. They said this. And it could be like, you know, all of it not really true because you want to attract that energy for yourself or grab on your energy or take your energy back from other people that... You talked about her, you talked about him, you talked about another person, you think about what they did to you, you think about that misery, concern, everything. You need to wake up. Wake up, Capricorn. Wake up to yourself. Think about, give yourself a credit. Think about yourself like you're really good and take your attention or your energy back. You need the energy to attract business and love and happiness in your life. This is misery. You have been really sinking in for the past one year and this is enough. More than a year, two years, a year and a half, I don't know. You know what? You are your worst enemy at this time. You have anxiety, you worry, maybe migraines, whatever. You create that dilemma because you think wrong and I'm sorry. I don't care what you think after I said that. But I think what I'm reading is right and I have been reading forever. So don't tell me what to read. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I wish the best for all of you. I wish happiness upon each one of you and major, major success. Best of luck. And if you need a private reading, please contact me and go to my website, mysticalaziza.com. After you click on reading prices, please purchase your reading, then give me a call. My phone number is listed on my website. And thank you so much for watching.